In this video, I want to talk about how I went from making less than minimum wage for my video work all the way to shooting for Under Armour. And I guess before I get into this story, I should disclose that this video was kind of like inspired by another filmmaker here on YouTube, Danny Gervitz, who made a video about how he shot for Nike. And upon seeing that video, I thought it would be really nice to share my story of how I went from kind of a beginner filmmaker to shooting for basically one of the big players in the industry that I'm a part of. And this isn't gonna be like a copy of his video or anything, but he did inspire me to make this. So I was wanted to give credit to him. But my story, of course, is going to be different than his story. The lessons that I learned are going to be different than the lessons in his story. And so I think that there's gonna be a unique value to this video as well. But I would also recommend if you like this one, then afterwards you go check out his. I started filming videos in 2017, but in 2018, I really began taking things seriously. And from that point forward, I knew that I wanted to work in sports and I wanted to film big names and work with big companies or big teams within this space. So I began where I could, filming for a youth basketball league that some of my old coaches from when I played basketball had run. So for all of 2018 and most of 2019, I was filming children between fourth grade and eighth grade play basketball. Not the most luxurious job, but it was definitely a start. The pay wasn't great, but it built my portfolio. And I'm forever grateful for that. But it obviously was not a big name in sports like I would have liked. And of course, as a beginner, I wasn't shooting big names like that. And you know, that's to be expected as a beginner. But one summer, after filming a whole season of that league, I was invited by the people who run the league to go and film a summer camp that they run. This summer camp was in a small town about five hours north of where I live in Toronto, if I remember correctly. And they were paying not good. The pay for this camp was $100 a day for six days, 12 hour days, and it included accommodation. So if you average that out, $100 a day for a 12 hour day, like everything but like within reason should have been telling me to say no to that proposition and not take that job. But as a beginner, I was hungry and I wanted to build my portfolio. I wanted to get out there and film as much as I could. So I said yes, I took it, and I got on a school bus with a bunch of elementary school children and drove five hours north to film youth basketball for six days and live in a university dorm. Doesn't seem like the most, uh, the most appealing job in the world, but I had a good time. It was pretty fun. The kids were really into it. And like for my skill level at the time, I suppose the footage wasn't bad, but the one thing about that camp that really made it special for me and why I'm telling you about it is that that camp was sponsored by Under Armour. And as a result, there were a couple of marketing people from Under Armour's ad agency who on the very last day of the camp were present at some of the events. So while I was there, I was, you know, as one is on a video job, trying to be pretty friendly with people, networking, just kind of going about my business in a professional way and not getting in anyone's way too much, letting things happen. And I ended up connecting with Under Armour's marketing reps from their agency who was there. We talked pretty briefly and I ended up dumping them all my raw footage for them to use in the future. And at the time, I didn't know whether or not I should just be giving them all my raw footage. I just kind of met these people and that's obviously a bit of a no-no, but I don't know what it was. Something in me was just like, yeah, this is cool. And I, I dumped all my raw footage onto their hard drive. We talked for a little, this six day camp ended. I got back on that school bus and went all the way back home and thought nothing of it. That was the end. And I just kind of went back to my normal life, filming for small clients and filming youth sports every now and then. So over the next two to three years following that camp, I kept honing my skills. I was slowly able to work for bigger and bigger clients. 
I ended up landing a full-time job in the industry working for a professional league here in Canada, which was a huge accomplishment for me. It still is a huge accomplishment for me. And I was really able to improve my video skills tremendously in that time. And more importantly than that, well, not more importantly, it's obviously very important to improve your skills, but also very important, I was sharing my work really consistently online throughout the time that I was improving my skills and making better and better videos. And now one day in 2021, so over two years after the end of this camp, I get a call from one of Under Armour's marketing reps from their agency. And they basically said that they've been seeing my work on Instagram and keeping up with it. They really like what I do and they think a project has come up that I would be a great fit for. I didn't even think twice about that previous interaction. It was years ago and I didn't even know that this agency was keeping tabs on me, but they really liked working with me and chatting with me back at that camp and I enjoyed that interaction as well. And they had seen my work and seen my growth and they were just really interested in like my specific style that I'd been sharing online. So they wanted to bring me on to shoot a project in the end of 2021 for Under Armour, which was crazy to me that an opportunity like that could just kind of, you know, it almost seems like it came out of thin air quite honestly. But anyways, that happened. So of course I wanted more information and I found out that they were looking to do a project for Under Armour Canada, focusing on their winter line of clothes and their cold gear, specifically how Canadian athletes train in the winter using Under Armour cold gear to perform better. And I ended up making, I think it was like 14, 30 to 45 second videos and a trailer to accompany each video for Under Armour at the end of 2021. And I filmed all of those and edited all of them and basically brought this whole Under Armour marketing campaign together, or at least I brought all the video content of this campaign together, which is crazy and not something that I would have ever predicted I'd be doing if you had asked me like two, three years ago when I was filming that camp for $100 a day. <laughs> Sentiment around that project from pretty much all parties involved was really good. I'm incredibly proud of the work that I was able to do for them. I'm really hoping that I get to continue working with them in the future. Only time will tell, of course. I can't speak on any more than what I know right now. But there are a few lessons to kind of take away from that experience. So firstly, it's important to say yes to opportunity because if I don't say yes to the opportunity to go film a youth basketball camp five hours north of my home for $100 a day, then I never meet the Under Armour rep who two years later brings me on to actually do a project for one of the most recognizable and probably coolest names in sports. Second, it's important to be friendly and personable. If I go to this camp and I'm just kind of a grouch that I'm not getting paid enough and I'm not filming for all the clients who I want to be filming for yet and kind of be a suck and go into my own shell, then I'm never gonna make the connection with the Under Armour rep who hires me. And I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna give a good impression off to anyone there who sees me. And it, that can just hurt my reputation as a whole as a videographer. So just taking pride in my work and being friendly and personable and making the very best of that situation is what got me to that next step and a little bit closer to filming for the clients who I wanted to film for. And finally, it's super important that you share your work because if I don't continue to be an eager learner, continue to consistently film and edit projects, get better and better, and then share that work over time as I'm improving, then there's no way anybody looks at my profile and decides that I'm a good fit to take on a project for a national brand. They just see a guy who hasn't improved in three years and is being lazy and not taking his craft seriously. And then I just don't get a call and that project never happens. 
Anyways, I just kind of wanted to share that. I'm still a little bit mind blown that I actually got to do this project. It was, it was a really great experience and you know, definitely a, a cool feather in my cap. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.